Ulta, 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 Ulta. It's time for what is new at Ulta again, which really, is it just me or is there always something new everywhere? It never used to be this way with makeup, but I feel like every two weeks it's like new launch, new launch, new launch. And it's a little bit tough to keep up, but Lord knows I am trying. So we have another what is new at Ulta haul to share, or we, I have another what is new at Ulta haul to share with you. And some of these items I was sent, some of these items I picked up myself, but um, you know, I'm trying to keep up with the pace of all of these launches and I cannot even believe it that we are almost in like summer launches. I'm like, wait a second, what happened to the spring launches? Where did those go? Because I keep getting emails and whatnot of like summer launch, summer launch. And I'm like, oh my God, where's my life going? Um, okay, so we're gonna dive right in. The first thing I wanna chat about is the fact that I am super glowy today. Like I am like glow, 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 glow. I literally was like on Snapchat and I had the first time of my life where I was like, oh my God, look at my highlight. Like everywhere I turned, like the light was catching it. And I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. This is insane, I love it. So Ulta has now started carrying the full range of Anastasia products. They have the eyeshadows, pencils, um, brow products and highlighters, contour, just like everything. Literally, they were just putting the display together when I went into my Ulta and I was asking like, when is the full thing gonna be done? Can I come back? Do you have stuff in the back for me right now? Like really excited. I'm sure they were looking at me like, who is this crazy person? Um, but I saw this and decided to pull the trigger. I don't review or purchase a lot of Anastasia products. Love the Brow Wiz, love the Brow Pomades, but I have never tried the liquid lipstick. I have never tried the highlighters. I've tried a few shadows. Actually, every single Anastasia product that you have ever seen on my channel, I have purchased myself. They've never sent me anything. So uh, yeah, I have a few, a few items here to go over. Papow, Glow Kit. I love this so much. I was not expecting to love it as much as I do. Now, something that's really cool is these guys come out. So if you wanted to put this in your Z palette or a different compact, you could. I love that. I feel like you get a crap ton of product. And I first applied this one, Sunburst, and I was kind of like, ooh, like it kind of felt like I put MAC nylon all over my cheeks. And I was like, ooh, that is just like too much. So to tone it down, because I don't know why in my mind I was like, to tone it down, let's put on some more highlighter. But it worked. So to tone it down, I put on Bubbly. And then between those two, something just happened where I literally, I mean, like angels were singing and I was just like blessed with highlighter goodness. And I feel like I want to use this combo every day of my life now because I like this glow. Anyway, this is a hit for me already. Love that I grabbed this. And they have another one. I don't know what it's called. It wasn't even on the display yet. I think I'm going to go back tonight and get it because... I think I need to. So we love the glow going on right now. I feel like it very much goes with the whole outfit that I have, which it is Friday, which I think I need to come up with a hashtag or something where when I post my outfits that are available on Amazon, on my Instagram, I should do like Fashion Friday or something like that. Let me know in the comments. Let's come up with a hashtag for my Friday outfits. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see the rest of what is going on, my jeans, my shoes, know where the jewelry or who the jewelry is by, all of that good stuff, then hop on over to my Instagram. And of course, this will also be the outfit that I am wearing tonight on Style Code Live. It will be on at 9 p.m. Eastern time and at 6 p.m. Standard Pacific time. And if you miss it, you can always watch the next morning, Saturday morning at 9 a.m. It will be up for you guys to view over and over and over if you like. But I have to say, I loved, loved, loved Snapchatting with you guys and watching the show live. That was so cool. To everybody that said hello in the little message feed, that was really great. And I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna be snapping away and talking with you guys and sharing a very hot product of the week that is like, it's kind of like a secret that I almost didn't want to share because it's that good and I've never talked about it on my channel. So go watch the show, check it out, and the links will be in the description box below. Let's talk, ooh, I know what I want to talk about. You guys, oh my goodness. This is my new favorite lip combination. I can't even handle it. I feel, I kind of feel like 
like Barbie vibes today. I think maybe it's the pink top, which I don't normally do and all the highlight, but I just, I really like this lip combo so much. Um, this is not new, obviously, this is very used up. The lip liner that I'm wearing is from Makeup Forever. It is the Aqua Lip in 2C, which is one of my very favorites. It works with so many different lip um, lipsticks, lip items. But this is from Tarte. This is called the Lipstick Lip Sculptor. And what I think is so cool about this is you have a lipstick on one side and then you have your gloss on the other. How perfect is that to throw in your purse? And I am a big fan of lipstick and then a little gloss in the center to kind of make your lips look more juicy and full. And this shade, which is called Basic, I'm kind of offended by that. Sometimes being basic is good. Classic, maybe? Basic? Basic? Why am I having an issue with the fact that my lip combo is basic? I don't know. Whatever, it looks good, I like it. So um, this is, I believe, exclusive to Ulta. They have several different shade combos. Um, the other one that I picked up is called Voltage. I just really love the formula, too. Gloss smells like vanilla. I have not even swatched this one, but look at how beautiful that color is. And I like that the gloss matches exactly. I love, love, love that because then you can just kind of amp up the shine and it's really pretty. And what else was I gonna say? I do find that I've been sipping on water and whatnot and I have had to reapply the gloss a few times. Like it wears off pretty quickly. But other than that, I love it. The color is beautiful. It feels great. Um, let's talk about some more lip stuff. Let's like hop back to the Anastasia world because I think I'm the last person on the planet to try Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I've literally never, ever tried them. And I don't know why my first thing is always to smell everything. This is pure Hollywood, which everyone loves. I feel like I see this color on Instagram all the time and it's just a beautiful pink shade. So I got two glosses and then I got one of the liquid lipsticks because I'm so weird about liquid lipstick. Either I love it or hate it. And I was scared that I wouldn't like it. So I only picked up one. Gloss is usually like, it's gloss. Are you really gonna hate the gloss? Probably not. Um, but I did want to check out the formula and I thought that these two shades were so pretty I am so into spring colors right now everything light and fresh and bright so I got butterscotch and dainty and These are very pigmented which I like I actually really enjoy that how pretty right so beautiful It's a whole new world. I'm checking out Anastasia products. It's like a whole new thing for me it Cosmetics has a few new things and they have these giant displays. You go in and you see like this giant mascara thing and it kind of stops you in your tracks because it has all of these different like, you know, 71% of people said this and 81% of people said that. This is called the Superhero Mascara. You guys know, I kind of have a thing for mascara. It's kind of like I'm always looking for the next best thing with mascara, even though I have to say I have still been very, very loyal to my Fiona Styles mascara, which is also a newer item at Ulta. This one I used today and I don't really have any immediate thoughts. I'm gonna see how it wears. It layered really well underneath my false lashes. It did a nice job on the lower lash line. It didn't build them up too much, but it didn't clump either. So we'll see how this goes. The weird thing about this, it smells like a Sharpie. Like it smells intense. It's like, woo, that is like, that's an intense mascara. So this is the Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara in Super Black. It Cosmetics also has a cream out and this was sent to me in like a giant box. If you saw on Snapchat, I literally opened this huge box and it was just this cream in the center. Um, but it was just like such a huge presentation and all of these great things about this cream and the name of it I really like as well. It's called Confidence in a Cream and this is a transforming moisturizing super cream. You can use this on the face and neck. I've actually already used this and it is really nice but it's hard to judge how a face cream works just with one use. So I'm gonna keep using it and I will let you guys know how it goes. But initially, I think it's a really great cream. It's not overly greasy or oily. It sinks in really quickly and it is very hydrating. This is another item that has a big, huge display in Ulta as a newer launch right now as well. You kind of can't miss it. Um, so I am curious. It says it's for all skin types too, which is interesting um, for such a hydrating product. I don't know if oily skin would wanna use this, but yeah, I'll keep giving it a go. I have some cheap makeup to talk about. 
I don't like that word, but I mean, there's just not a better one to round up this launch of makeup that is relatively new. Um, you've been able to purchase it online for uh, I think like six months now or so, but I had never seen the display in an Ulta before. So when I saw it, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I need everything. The Salvation Intense Lip Lacquer and the Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer. So um, the Intense is going to be shine, high shine, and then the Velvet is a matte kind of liquid lipstick. Cannot wait to try these out. So many of you guys are like, oh my gosh, it's the best affordable makeup. You will love it so much. Please try it. And I've wanted to for a while. I just could never find it. And I don't know. I just never placed an order. I also picked up a bunch of their palettes. Now, I have to say when I was online, for some reason, I thought these would be like the size of Morphe palettes. But I actually, I'm not minding the fact that they're smaller because this is just so much more compact. I am wearing a ton of these shadows today. Actually, I'm wearing all Revolution eyeshadow today, and I really like how it turned out. These are $15 for the palette, and I am going to do a hot or not. I've already decided it's happening. Um, I have a contour palette right here that I haven't even opened. I have the uh, affirmation palette. This has 32 eyeshadows in it. I have a bronzing palette. So really, I'm not going to stay here too long in this video, but give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see like full swatches, like a big ol' hot or not um, on Makeup Revolution because I'm pretty excited about it. I am wearing the blush today. I only picked up one blush because I wanted to see what the formula was like. This is the matte blush and this is in Beloved and it applied like a freaking dream. It really surprised me because this is so affordable. I also grabbed the Aqua Seal. Now this looked different than any other eye primer that I had seen out there. It's like a water that you apply before your eyeshadow. Oh, you can wear this underneath or on top. You know, it looked different, it was affordable, I'm willing to see how it goes. They also have a great range of lipsticks. I picked up the shade Love Nude and Rebel with a Cause. These right here were sent to me and I haven't tried them out yet, but I wanted to throw them in the mix because I saw that this was part of the newer display from Smashbox. This is the Be Legendary lipstick and I have the shade Nude Beach, Red Rage, Inspiration, and Tabloid. Really vibrant, really beautiful colors, and these are smack dab in the center of the Smashbox display right now as a new item. This is like the, the grand finale item right here. I actually really love this. I think the selection of shades is so awesome. This is the Urban Decay Vice Reloaded. And if you look at these shades in here, you have everything you need. You have transition shades, you have cream matte shades, you have shiny shades, you have colorful shades. So there are some limited edition shades in here, but then they also put in like Midnight Cowboy, Smog. Um, they put just a ton of uh, mildew, a ton of really classic, best selling eyeshadows from Urban Decay. The mirror in here is awesome and huge. Hi, you can see my camera. Um, and I just, I really love this. I have not liked the Vice palettes very much in past years, but this one, I am really enjoying the color selection and I cannot wait to do some looks with it. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, so there you have it. A ton of new things going on at Ulta. You know, there's always gonna be more new things. I could do another what's new at Ulta next week. I'm sure of it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and playing with makeup and uh, I hope you're having a good one. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.